Hello, my name is Slavin. You are watching my channel, channel for learning math. Okay, today we have some interesting topic. And topic is called fractions with whole numbers or fractions with integers. Okay. Okay. All, all of this here is uh, background knowledge or theoretical background of fractions with whole numbers or with, in with integers. Okay, first of all, what are the whole numbers? Whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 20, 100 and so on. Basically from 0 to plus infinity. 0 is included. What are the integers? Integers are basically minus 2, minus 5, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 10, 58 and so on. Basically from minus infinity to plus infinity. There is a thin line be between whole numbers and integers. Okay? And uh, what are the fractions? or fraction. Fraction is one formulation of numbers. Okay. This is this is the fraction. Okay. The upper number is called the numerator, the lower number is called denominator. Okay? Straight line that divides upper and lower number is called fraction bar. It is basically a sign of division. It can be horizontal or at the angle of 45 degrees. Basically like this. Okay. Addition of integers is basically rule number one. Rule one, addition, is done first fraction a through b plus c through d equals b multiplied by d in lower part, in upper part, a multiplied by D and C multiplied by D. First part, second part. Okay, rule number two. Subtraction. A through B minus C through D equals in lower part B, B multiplied by D. In upper part, cross multiplication. A multiplied by D, first part. And second part minus C multiplied by D. Okay. Multiplication and fractions, rule number three. Multiplication A through B multiplied by C through D equals horizontal multiplication. Equals A multiplied by C and B multiplied by D. Okay. Rule number four, division of fractions. Division can be done in two ways. Way number one. A through B multiplied by C through D. Okay, equals A through B. We flip second fraction B through C and we multiply it. And we result is A multiplied by D and B multiplied by C. Okay. Second way of doing it is to construct something that is called compound fraction. Okay. A through B, big line C through D. Okay. It's basically A through B divided by C through D. And we now have an outer product and inner product. 
a multiplied by d is in upper part of the fraction and b multiplied by c is in lower part of the fraction. Okay. Okay, now we are going to uh, show some special rules. Rule number five. Rule number five says a to b equals one. Basically, it is when we have a through b multiplied by c through a equals one. Okay. And in other case, when a equals b, then fraction is equal one. Okay, rule number six. A equals zero. Zero through B equals zero. Rule number seven. B equals zero. A through zero equals infinity. Rule number eight. A equals infinity. Infinity through B equals infinity. Rule number nine. B equals infinity. A through infinity equals zero. Okay. All of these are rules of proper fractions. Improper fraction is when A is bigger than B. What does it mean? It means that the numerator is bigger than denominator. Upper number of fraction is bigger than lower number of fraction. Okay. Here we have some rules for improper fractions. Okay, rule number 10 says a multiplied by a through b equals a plus a through b. What does it mean? Basically, a is a whole number, big A is a whole number, a is a whole number or integer and b is a whole number. We can write left side is equal right side. Big A plus A through B. Okay. And basically rule number 11 says shifting of minus. Here minus is in front of the fraction. Here minus is in upper part of the fraction and here is minus in lower part of the fraction. is basically the same where it's practically the same where minus is. Okay. Okay. All of these are rules of integers. In the name of the game is fractions with whole numbers or integers. Uh, like in the football, if you, wanna, if you want to play a football, you must know the rules. And our game is called fractions with whole numbers and rules are written here. Okay, let's do some examples. Okay, first example. One, one half plus two thirds. First example, okay. We are applying the rule, okay. Rule of addition, okay. Two multiplied by three is six. Three multiplied by one is six divided by two is three multiplied by one is three. Six divided by three is two multiplied by two is four. Now we have seven six seven through six. Okay. Basically, the number six is called the same denominator. Okay. Second example is multiplication of fractions. Okay. Basically, we use rule of multiplication, horizontal multiplication is applied. 1 multiplied by 2 is 2, 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. Now we have to divide 2 by 2 and 6 by 2. 
it's called cancellation and now the result is one third okay the third example is written here one quarter plus zero two five okay if we applied rule number six zero two b is equal to zero this part of fraction is zero and minus one two four is minus one two four okay okay that would be examples now for homework okay these are examples for homework try to do it yourself and then the watch the clip for homework results okay that would be all if you like the videos subscribe thanks bye